a week ago, you thought you had a bill that was at least going to, um, it, was a, it was designed to help uh, journalistic organizations, both big and small, um, to get properly, um, to get properly uh, funded by, by Facebook and all that, a similar law to Australia. You thought it was a done deal and it was gone in 24 hours. How powerful is this tech lobby? So powerful that you literally can have a bill that got through the Judiciary Committee with strong bipartisan support. You can get promises from leaders that it's going to be in a, a major end-of-year bill. And then within 24 hours, it's gone. It's vanished. Because one company, two companies, in this case, Facebook and Google. Uh, by the way, Google made $66 billion in one quarter in advertising. Well, we are going to lose one-third of the nation's newspapers by 2025. We had such strong support for this bill, mm -hmm. but these guys just make a few calls and they just say, hey, you know, this is going to hurt us just like they did in Australia. The difference was in Australia, uh, their government stood up and said, no, we're going to do this and we're going to say you've got to negotiate with these news organizations to get fair price for their content. And it happened. And they have a better system in place. Right now in the United States of America, these companies have basically started dominating our thought processes. Right. And I think the work Francis has done is incredible. It is about going after these algorithms, making for them transparency. That's one of the bills we yeah. have. Uh, and it is about uh, getting compensation for our news organizations. And then finally, it's about getting rid of uh, archaic law, Section 230, that so, gives them immunity from lawsuits. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.